I'm Dr Helen Cheresky and I'm very enthusiastic about the physics that's all around us in the everyday world. I want to tell you a story that starts a few years ago in Rhode Island, which is a state on the east coast of the US. And one of the things that's exciting about Rhode Island is that that's where they grow blueberries. And when I lived there, blueberries weren't so common in the UK and I was really excited by being able to pick blueberries. And the most exciting thing about a blueberry is surely that it's blue, right? We can all agree a blue fruit is a really exciting thing. And before I left Rhode Island, I really wanted to make jam out of blueberries because I thought blue jam would be really cool. And so I went picking blueberries, uh, which is a bit like cheating actually in Rhode Island. In England, our fruits, you have to suffer when you pick fruits in England. You have to either break your back bending down to pick strawberries or you have to scratch your hands to pieces picking raspberries. It's always difficult, but in Rhode Island, it's really easy. The blueberries are head height, you shake a tree and litres and litres of blueberries fall off. So I picked my blueberries, I took them to a friend's house um, and I started making jam. And as I was boiling it up, imagining what I was going to do with all this blue jam, what was in the pan started to change colour. And it went pink, bright fuchsia pink. And that was the colour of the jam. And I was really disappointed because the blueberry jam was meant to be blue. And so I took my pink blueberry jam back to England and didn't really think much more about it until a few months later, a friend asked me to help with a problem. He was a historian and he'd found these records of um, witches, wise women in England who used to do things and, and they would ask, you know, they, their job was to prevent witchcraft and they wanted to be able to test for witchcraft. And he said they did all these weird things and I don't know what these, you know, there was, were they testing for something systematic? They obviously weren't really testing for witchcraft, but what, what was it, you know, is there any science behind what they were doing? So I looked at the instructions the wise women had left, and one of them had said, if you um, test someone's skin with tincture of verbena and it changes colour, then they are bewitched. So I went around looking for things that might change colour if you put them on someone's skin. And what I found was that verbena is a very special uh, type of plant because it contains very specific chemicals called anthocyanins and I've got some anthocyanins here these have been um, boiled from red cabbage uh, the color changes a little bit depending on the pan you make them in but if you boil cabbage or verbena and then you pour out the liquid it's, it's a beautiful bright color it's definitely got a color and this is what the witches were using to test things with something that was this kind of bright color and what I worked out was that anthocyanins are very clever. If you add acid or alkali to them, different things happen. So we're going to do that here. I've got some laundry powder, and when laundry powder dissolves in water, it makes something that's quite alkaline. So I'm going to sprinkle laundry powder on this side. And you can see that what was beautifully bright blue has suddenly gone, this amazing lime green. And then on the other side, I'm going to add vinegar, so something acid. It's this is startling pink, really bright little pink colour, which is an amazing change. And I think that this is what the wise women were doing. They were using verbena, they were using this chemical called anthocyanin. And what they were doing, it was using to test for pH on people's skin. So if you maybe had a particular chemical in your sweat, you might have acid or alkali, uh, and they would do their test and conclude that maybe you were bewitched. So that was a lot of fun. And then I remembered about the blueberries. Because when you make blueberry jam, there are only three things you put into the water, into the pan when you're boiling up the blueberries. You put blueberries and water and sugar and lemon juice. And the lemon juice is an acid. So when my bright pan of blueberries turned pink, the reason it did that was because the entire pan was acting as an indicator. So to my disappointment, proper blueberry jam is always going to be pink but it was worth it just to find out about these things, the anthocyanins.